Hey students, I've had a lot of people ask me about the AP Computer Science Principles class that will be offered next year. In this video, I wanna to explain to you what the class is about, what we'll be studying, and even show you a few sample projects that students did from the last time we had the class. First of all, the class is all about JavaScript. We hand code in JavaScript all of our code. We don't use like block like languages where you drag and drop blocks of code onto the screen like we've done in some of my other classes. Actually, no, you write all your code by hand in JavaScript. It's a professional language that is used a lot all over the world, and so it's a great language to learn. We'll focus on game programming. That's right, we'll make lots of games, we'll hand code those, and you get lots of really valuable experience on how to make a program from beginning to end in JavaScript. College prep, it is an AP class, so you can get college credit uh, if you scale, score well on the exam in May. Are you worried about the AP exam? Well, don't be. This is one of the easier AP classes out there. It's a great AP class if you've never taken one. It's great for sophomores and juniors, but hey, seniors take it and love it too. So yeah, take the class, it's fun. How about homework? Well, there I would say there's less reading homework and that kind of thing. It's mostly in class, lots of time working on our projects and coding and programming and working a lot of times on teams or individually on your projects. And there's some homework, but not tons. Also, do you want a job? Sure you do. Someday you want to get a job and you want to get paid well, right? So programming is an essential skill for everyone in our world. And if you take this class, hey, I guarantee you'll get a big old job, all right? All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the sample programs that students made in this class. Okay, here we have a really simple game, Breakout, right? It's not that hard. You might think, wow, what's so big about that? But remember, you're writing this code from scratch, by hand, writing code, not using any other program to help you create the game. And so it's a little more challenging than it looks. Let's look at the code. So this is what JavaScript looks like. It's basically code inside an HTML page. And you learn all kinds of stuff. What are variables? What are arrays? How do you create objects? How do you use those objects to create uh, multiple instances of a single object? What's an event listener? What's a canvas? How do you draw on the canvas? How do you write custom functions? All this kind of stuff. We learn how to do this in JavaScript. It's fun. Okay, here's another game, Flappy Bird, right? Now this, this game uh, wasn't quite finished. Um, all these games I'm showing you were done by students in my class. And um, yeah, they're great. They're awesome, aren't they? Yeah, I love them. And uh, the student had a little bit more to do to finish this game, but hey, it works pretty good. And there you go, Flappy Bird. How about Earth Defense, right? In this particular game, a student learned how to use the mouse to control the movement of the objects and the key press, in this case, the space bar to shoot. Kind of fun. I was really proud of this student who did Frogger. This is a complex game. And uh, again, key presses are controlling the objects there, or the frog as it moves up the screen, trying not to get hit by cars, jumps on the, uh, oh, logs, and, uh, Makes it to the top, makes it to the top, push F5 to play again. Awesome. How about this one? Pixel Defense, click to start playing. Again, let me remind you, all of these games were made by students on their own in our class from what they learned in this class, and it's all written, coding it by hand, not using any other program to create the games for you. This is advanced stuff. I love this one. The student made a, um, made a movable control panel up here click on a particular type of um, missile thingy, right? And uh, there you go, starts, uh, starts playing the game. And um, you know how missile defense works, right? You're familiar with it, but this is pretty cool. I think this is some pretty advanced stuff going on here. The student was able to pull off in our AP computer science principles class. Yes, way to go. All right, one more game to look at. All the games that I've shown you thus far were all made by students. This one was actually made by me. And we all have seen Snake, right? This is a fun game. And uh, boy, if I gotta make sure I don't hit the, the edge of the screen there, I can't talk and play the game at the same time. It's too hard, right? But uh, you can see that as it eats the food every time it touches the red dot, the snake gets longer and there you go. And if it touches the edge, it game over. All right, again, let's look at the code for this one. So again, you learn to write all the code from scratch using JavaScript and all kinds of advanced programming concepts in here, for loops and 
again, objects and arrays, two-dimensional arrays and all kinds of things, even a little bit of more advanced math. Um, I walk you through all of this step by step. It's um, anybody can learn it. It's fun. So I encourage you AP computer science principles at our high school next year, go to your counselors, talk to them about it, sign up for the class. It's going to be fun. Okay. I'll see you next year.